Our robot was inspired by the look of a female first responder or a female Marine uh, wearing body armor. We wanted a, a real strong name behind that to represent what we've created uh, for the DARP Robotics Challenge, and that's why we've decided on the, the name Valkyrie for our robot. The idea for this robot basically came from wanting to create something that was not just an upper body robot like our previous humanoids. We wanted something that had legs that could possibly walk on another planet, that could interact with humans in a gravity situation. The design of uh, our robot is 44 actuated degree of freedom humanoid robot. Ultimately, we're NASA. We want to send this into space. Um, uh, systems that can work with people, for people, uh, uh, are what we're after. We have 50 engineers, technicians, uh, scientists, all working together in one place on one thing, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, getting this robot ready to meet this challenge and the challenges in the future. The NASA JSC robot will win the DRC challenge because we have created a robot from um, top down and bottom up, basically. We have the entire team co-located. I think our team will most definitely win the DARPA Robotics Challenge. We don't intend to win the trials. I've been telling all of our team members here, it's a lot like the space race back in the, the 50s and 60s. The United States was clearly behind the Soviets at the time. It was through constant perseverance and a rapid ascent in technological capability that uh, we were able to surpass them.